Now, I don't know if you've ever left a turkey in the oven and woke up the next morning at the pearly gates, but we all know the feeling of, oh, I remember that thing that I forgot. Now, has there ever been a game that you were just so excited for, but, you know, time goes by and you forget about it. But then, out of the blue, you remember it and you get excited all over again? So you might do a little bit of digging to, you know, find out whatever happened to it, and you're met with a dead end. This happens to video games all the time, but sadly, sometimes we just don't remember. Well, I've done the digging, dear homo sapiens. Prepare for a list of games that mysteriously disappeared, and stick around to the end to see one of the most interesting, mysterious disappearances in video game history. Whatever happened to these games? Don't forget to subscribe and gut punch that bell thing that just ticks me off. Ugh. Now this one might actually come as a surprise to most of you, because if you're anything like me and have the time awareness skills of an anteater, then you'll feel like this game was just being advertised. It's a new Capcom game. How the heck is it on this list? Well. While it most likely hasn't been secretly completely dropped like the others on this list, we've heard nothing on this game for a while now, and that's weird. In fact, last we did hear about it was how it's been delayed for... God knows how long. <laughs> so sadly, here we are. So we don't know a lot about Pragmata as of this moment, but what we've gathered is that a guy in a crazy suit, a little girl not in a crazy suit, and a holographic robotic cat thing are together during the end of the world, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> as far as we know, it's the end of the world. It might be a simulation. I mean, look, there are a lot of places that this thing could go. I like to, you know, at some point maybe get this game and find out what the heck was going on. Hello, what can I do for you? Do you have a face? What? Yes, I have a face. Cause all I see is eyes. Oh my gosh, dude, what do you, what do you need, Billy Idol? Just a wedding? Then why the heck are you calling me? A white wedding. Oh my, dude, are they subscribed? Huh? Cause if they ain't, I'm gonna put them on a bus, on a psychedelic trip, reading oh my books, my god! Trash. Just subscribe. In the Valley of the Gods. Okay, this one is actually really interesting. This one really caught my eye. Camp Santo, the same guys who made Firewatch, another game that won like millions of awards for some reason, announced at the Game Awards of 2017, again, that they'd be making an ancient Egyptian exploration game, or an exploration game that took place in Egypt, something like that. Now, the production was sadly put on hold in 2018 when Valve bought Camp Santo, and the rest is history. Now, pretty much all we have on this game is a general release date set in 2029 and most likely to change. What the heck? Anyways, the game follows Rashida, a filmmaker and explorer who teams up with her old friend Zora to venture through the ancient ruins of former Egypt. It actually sounds amazing. Part of the game is taking pictures and documenting your adventure. I hear that the music was going to be spectacular and that Camp Santo captured the feeling of ancient Egypt or exploring Egypt as it is now very well. So definitely one that I'd be very interested in if it comes out. Let's just hope that Valve, you know, has a change of heart and decides to bestow this game to us maybe half a decade earlier. Let's see. Again, another game that was first announced at the 2017 The Game Awards. Pearl Abyss's Plan 8 was sure to be a breath of fresh air in the mech slash futuristic dystopian slash evil, possibly sentient robot invasion RPG field. So not a lot is known about this game as it was completely canceled pretty freaking early in the process. Like all we got was an announcement and a trailer and that's about it. Now the story goes a little like this, as far as we can tell from one trailer. Evil robots, where they came from is unclear and most likely the plot of the story, are on a rampage and it's up to you and your small group to stop them. It looks like they're gonna be some traitors to the humans, like humans that join robots and... <laughs> And it looks as if you can progress in the game and discover new enemies and technologies that you'll be able to weaponize. So adding them to like your armor and stuff like that. Not a bad idea at all. I mean, this game looked amazing. Maybe, just maybe, they'll set aside Black Desert for like a little bit so we can get this game. But alas. Alright, so Eater, I believe it's pronounced like that, is a top-down pixel action Souls-like RPG. It actually looks amazing. Anime Entertainment is a smaller and newer indie company in Brazil. In fact, this game is all they've done. And the game's not even done yet, or out yet. It was supposed to be released a couple of years ago or so, but due to some changes in the game design and overall development, here we are. But to be honest, this game reminds me a lot of Elder Souls, if you know what that is, and one of those like dungeon games, you know, games with dungeon in it. Like, enter the gungeon, maybe? I don't know, map-wise. It looks really cool, though, and to be clear, it's rumored to be released in February of 2024, next year. Yay, but we'll see how valid that is. 
All right, now get a load of this. All the way back in 2004, we got Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, a game based off of the tabletop game of the name Vampire the Masquerade. The story is something about vampires, werewolves, and a bunch of other mythical beings living secretly among us. Yes, I said it. Basically, in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, you can create your own vampire and roam around the streets of Seattle, a city divided by politics and mythical creatures. Alongside the struggles of already being a bloodthirsty creature that's been hunted down for all of recorded time, you must balance your bloodthirst and stay within the laws of the Masquerade, a set of laws to keep vampires from getting too close to humans or something like that. First announced in 2019 to be released in the next year, but of course, it's on this list so we already know that didn't happen. Now, it's been rumored for a while that the Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines 2 will be released later in 2024. We'll see though. Alright, now by far of all the games in this list, this one caught my eye the most. As a pretty decently big fan of the Plague Tale games, this one spoke to me. The game follows Haruna, a little girl in India who discovers that she has the power to manipulate the Fold, a hidden dimension. Basically, the game is about her exploring the world that she's in, but also exploring the Fold, which is like a mirror. I don't know, it's very, very interesting. There's not a lot you get from the trailer, and it was dumped. You'll get to that in a second. It's a third-person action, story-driven game. It looks amazing. Unknown 9 Awakening was announced in 2020, but in 2021, the company behind the game, Reflector Entertainment, was acquired by Bandai Namco. You know, the same guys who, I don't know, made a little, I don't know, Elden Ring. But shortly after this change in leadership, the game's production was stopped. The game's cancellation was announced by Alexander Amancio, who said that the game's vision was too complex and ambitious for the modern technology and market. Wow. But that's not entirely the end. He said that the Unknown 9 world wouldn't completely end, it would still go on in the form of comics and podcasts. Now that's very interesting, that's like the last thing I ever expected or even ever heard of. Alright, I see you've survived to the end, I commend you. So now buckle up my dear homo sapien cause this is where it gets real. When doing the research for this video there was one game that continually and consistently popped up. People just couldn't get enough information and always wanted more on a cancelled Rockstar North game by the name of Agent. What? A Rockstar game that got canned? Well now this is interesting. The game was set in the 1970s during the Cold War. You play a secret agent who's mastered self and works all over the world on a top secret mission. Some of these missions took place on some really cool locations, like just saying. A lot of people were excited for this game, announced all the way back in 2007 and intended to be a PS3 exclusive game. Over the years, we heard less and less about this game, Agent. Then it was just swept under the rug and hasn't been touched since. Well that is until former technical director Ob Vermeji spoke up and gave his side of the story just last month. On November 11th of this year, Vermeji made a blog post talking about his experiences working with Rockstar over his career dating all the way back to 1995. One of the games that he was in charge of working on was Agent. The story goes something like this. After the team had finished GTA San Andreas, they wanted to try something different. They got the idea for Codename Jimmy, a British version of James, because this branch of Rockstar was located in the United Kingdom, from another game that Rockstar San Diego was working on, a James Bond-like game. So they began production on Agent, or Codename at that time, Jimmy. Now, they were on a deadline. They knew that soon the entire company would be called back to get together to work on GTA 4. With the clock ticking and running out fast, they just couldn't get enough progress, and in an attempt to get ahead, later on in the process, they cut a whole bunch of the game out, and there it just kind of died off. Of course, they were called for GTA 4 not long after, and the rest is history. Now, only 11 days after Vermeji posted this blog, it was requested for him to take some of it down because old co-workers were mad with his leaks. He took it down, saying, quote, This blog isn't important enough to take off my former colleagues in Edinburgh, so I'm winding it down. I mean, maybe just leaving a few articles with anecdotes that don't affect anyone but me. I would love for Rockstar to open up about the development of the trilogy themselves. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen anytime soon. Maybe I'll try again in a decade or two. And there you go, the story of Agent. Mysterious though, you have to ask the question, though it looks like it's resolved. Why did Rockstar, at least some people in Rockstar, want that taken down? Hmm. Call me conspiracy theorists, but it has to be aliens. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Which one of these games would you like to play the most, and would you like to see actually see the light of day for once? For me, Unknown 9 is definitely up there. I mean, it looked a lot like Plague Tale, but feel absolutely free to leave your thoughts down below. Now, here's the thing. 
if enough of us get together, all right, <laughs> hear me out, we might be able to bring some of these games back. Just an idea, but hey, you know. If you have any ideas for future videos, my dear homo sapiens, or great gamers, whatever the heck you guys are called, then feel my ears are open. I love you guys. I'll be back with another video soon. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And remember, life is short. Play great games. Now, I've covered some controversy on this channel over the, has it really been years already? But I was even kind of surprised when doing the research on the, the day before situation. What looked like a promise too good to be true turned out to not only mess a lot of people over, but has put a certain smaller company in a situation that nobody on earth wants to be in, if they're telling the truth.